I'll head home on my own. After all, I'm only a little sore. <laughs> it's cool. We'll go together. Aw, thanks, bro. <sighs> Cut that out. <laughs> this way. Think Jesse and Biggs made it back safe? I guess. Cool if we check on them? Yeah. We'll pass by their places anyway. Sure. You saw it too, right? Cloud, welcome back. Unfortunately, you were not the first to provide the data I requested. I require a great deal of data for my research. I'd appreciate any and all assistance. This is Big's place. I guess he hasn't made it home yet. Guess not. Hope he isn't worst casing it again. He's got a habit of overthinking things. Worrying about all the possible outcomes till his head hurts. Wouldn't have guessed. And when he worries, I worry. <laughs> anyway, let's head on over to Jesse's. This is where Jesse lives. Men are not allowed inside. Mm. Lots of pretty girls trying to make it big on stage live here. So don't hang around or they might get the wrong idea. Huh. I'm telling you this for your own good, Cloud. People around here love to gossip. They know about Jesse and Avalanche? Nah, it's all good. They think she's an actress. Oh, and one more thing, bro. It's all a game to her. Don't fall for it. You lost me. <laughs> Life's a stage and loves to play. Guys aren't allowed, remember? You know about the secret reactor jobs? I'm gonna try to find some living work. Hey there, Bigums, Reggie, Smalls. Brought a new friend to meet you. What? <sighs> These little guys are on guard duty today. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks for seeing me home. Really sorry about your ass. It's all good, bro. It's kind of weird when you call me that. Hey, don't be scared. Deep down, he's a big softy. It's okay. It's okay. Good job, guys. Great work. Aw, I missed you too. Oh, big guns. You know about the secret reactor jobs? Even people Well, if it isn't Cloud Strife, was wondering when you'd show up. Without further ado, here you are. Thanks for stepping up, Merc. <laughs> and now, for the cherry on top. Oh. Okay, I get it. Mind letting me breathe? Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for a while. Are you seriously that desperate? Just let go already. Only if you promise to come back tomorrow night. Deal? No promises, but I'll think it over. Really? You will? I'd make a mean pizza, I'll have you know. Marsh, louche, black milly, red jelly. I use only the best ingredients. Sound good? Uh, never heard of any of that stuff. Oh, you are so adorable, you know that? You just leave everything to me. It'll be great. <laughs> Nighty night.
Cloud? Yeah. You were out for a while. Just walking. <sighs> I ran into Johnny, by the way. Said not to worry, he was getting out of town. Uh... Oh, that guy. You weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Hmm. Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. Long time ago, I said I'd be there for her. Made a promise. So... <sighs> Can't say this is quite what I had in mind when I put that on you way back when. If you want to talk, I'm listening. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? With me? Like you're losing that hard edge. That bad? Not at all. I like it. Maybe Marlene won't be so scared of you next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad to have you back, Cloud. Really glad. Oh, it's pretty late, huh? I'd like to catch up more, but we should probably both get some sleep, yeah? Yeah. Good night, then. Good night, Tifa. showed up and came after us. The others? Barrett and Jesse are holding their ground, but for how long? I don't know. Let's go. Right. 